Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Thumb from Prime Flux. I'm gonna be showing you guys a behind the scenes of how I make my jewelry today, specifically the septum jewelry and like all body piercing. So here and the contouring as well. The process behind it, how it's actually made of uh, stones that I'm gonna be using. So hope you enjoy. So these septum jewelries are made from um, molds just because it's, it's their standard sizes and it's a lot easier. So as you can see, these are like little rubber molds that we then inject with wax. We take the wax piece out and then we cast it. So we melt it into gold. And that's how we get like the base shape. Once the gold is cast, as you can see, they're very, they come out very, very rough and they come out with the gates. So that little bar that you see behind, that is the gate that the metal uh, runs through into. Obviously we need to cut that off, which is what you're gonna be seeing now. After we cut off the gates, we basically file the pieces down a little bit more just to remove the remainder of the gates because they're never perfectly flush, especially on a rounded surface. Now, if you look at the jewelry, these are actually made kind of like in two halves. So you have the top half, you have the bottom half, and they click into each other like this. And the way that they click in is that in the, in the lever, if you want to call it, there's basically this piece of wire metal that goes through the two connecting pieces like this through and then riveted so riveting is when we we hit both sides to create kind of like it pushes the metal down and makes two kind of plaques two little surfaces so it keeps them from wiggling out so that's what i'm doing here these little wheels is kind of almost like um i don't say compressed sand but a little bit and what it does is it, it allows me to grind down the remaining surface before I even polish. So it smooths it out completely before the primary polish because the worst thing that can happen is if you have a piercing or any type of body jewelry that has a rough surface. If your jewelry isn't like properly polished, when you insert it into your body, it could actually create little scratches. Um, it could tear your tissue. You really don't want that because it can lead to infection, irritation, um, just even rejection of the piercing in and of itself. So you really, really want to make sure the piercing that you're putting in is properly made and it is high polish. So when we polish, we basically we have two levels. So we have Tripoli, which is the first polish. It's a much more abrasive polish to kind of take off um, the first layer, if you will, to really smooth down any um, file marks or any sandpaper marks. And then afterwards we go on to the green polish. So the green polish is really what's going to give you that mirror finish, but you have to do it in a two-step process. And in between, we put it in this ultrasound. So the ultrasound is kind of like little magnetic waves that then removes all of the, the polish on the surface of the metal so that you don't contaminate uh, the other polish. Basically the stones, so whether it's sapphires or diamonds for this order. And I'm... I'm preparing them for the stone setter. Surprise! You don't want to just kind of put um, any color sapphire because they're not always going to be exactly the same. So you kind of want to pick out all the, the pink sapphires that are of the same tone because sometimes you can have some which are a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. And so if you have it on a piece, if it looks inconsistent, it's not as nice. So it's just a little detail, but it does make a difference in the final. So these are finished packages that I'm going to be bringing to the stone center and this is just like a quick little shot of what it looks like. He sets it in um, in kind of like a plastic that he then sets the metal. Back. So once I pick it up from the stone center, this is what it looks like. They look almost finished but not quite. So now all I have to do is do a quick little brush up for the Tripoli, so the first polish, just in case. Most people probably don't do it, but I do it just because I really, really want to make sure that if there were any slight scratches that happen uh, during the stone setting, that like they are taken off before going back and doing the final, final green polish. Look at this super pretty diamond septum or date ring. This is a diamond contouring. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.